Today we're going to talk about Pulse X, the cryptocurrency. PLSX is the ticker symbol. We're going to talk about why I chose to buy it, why I'm still accumulating it to this day at this dip. And at the end of the video, stick around because you're going to learn some different ways to earn yields, otherwise known as interest, for just holding your PLSX, how to earn money for holding. So you can go to PulseX.com if you're new to crypto, if you're new to the Pulse Chain ecosystem, PulseX.com, go read the website. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. It's basically the primary decentralized exchange on the Pulse Chain network. Okay, so Pulse X is the DEX. It's the name of the DEX, the decentralized exchange. Every blockchain is going to have a decentralized exchange. Okay, for example, on Ethereum, you're going to have Uniswap.org. Okay, that's the primary DEX. A decentralized exchange, you've probably seen one before, but if you're new to crypto, you might have used one without knowing what it is. This is a DEX. Okay, typically they all look like this. They're very simple, okay? You can swap any coin, any cryptocurrency for any other cryptocurrency without any middlemen, with no censorship. It's the way crypto was supposed to be. It's real crypto for the most part, as long as they're not secretly centralized, which PulseX is not. So you've got other ones like Uniswap out there, but they're different than centralized exchanges, which encourage trading. They're very limited in their options, right? They only list like 20, 30, 40 coins, whatever is available. And they're very limited, okay? So it's better to use a DEX always. You should always hold your own private keys. You should always have a crypto wallet. I'm assuming you do already. Metamask, Rabby.io, InternetMoney.io. These are all fine. If you're a beginner to crypto, get a wallet, write your private keys down and do crypto the right way. Then you can use a DEX, right? You can connect your wallet to any website. And these websites, guys, they're just showing you the front end. What the DEX really is at its core is it's just code that lives on a smart contract, okay? That's that lives on top of a blockchain. All right, so what you're doing when you're clicking all these buttons is you're just executing functions in the code that you don't really see. It's like imagine behind the scenes of this screen, there's a little block of code that exists forever on a blockchain that is taking all your orders and executing them you know, with no permissions, right? Nobody can tell you what buttons you can press, what functions you can do, all right? You can just swap whatever you want for whatever else you want. It's the primary thing that every blockchain needs, okay? It's one of the most used applications in all of crypto. So Pulse X, the decentralized exchange, has got yield farms. You might know what those are already. It's where you lock two coins together and you earn interest in the form of INC token for doing that on the Pulse X exchange. Now, it's very, very similar to Uniswap V2. In Uniswap V2, when you provide liquidity on the exchange, here's what Uniswap V2 looks like, right? If you provide, you know, $45 worth of Pulse, a million pulse, you have to provide an equal dollar value on the other side of the liquidity pool. So $45 of pulse X. That's basically how you know that it's a Uniswap V2 liquidity pool. Now, what's the difference with pulse X? Why is pulse X innovative? Why is it worth buying? Why did I choose to buy it? Way back in the day, I sacrificed for pulse X. Okay. So I was a very early adopter. You can actually get prices way lower than I got in at, at the beginning. Today, it's 80% lower than sacrifice rate, but that's why I'm still buying and increasing my position right now. I'll tell you what makes PulseX different, all right? It works fine. It's tried and true. It's a fork. It's a copy of the code from Uniswap V2. So we know that code has been super audited, very successful, never really been hacked, and it's very safe. Okay, it's very safe, very popular, successful. But the coin, PLSX, the token, why bother having a token, right? The platform is different than the token. The PulseX.com platform, which you can get to on PulseX.com, just open up the app, right? App.PulseX.com, click on this. Click on the IPFS link. That's how you get to the actual decentralized exchange. But why have a token? Okay, well, Uni has the Uni token. Uniswap has the UNI token for governance, they call it. All right, governance. What is governance? It just means voting on future updates in the protocol. But what Uniswap doesn't tell you is that Uniswap owns basically 90%. Uniswap, the company, owns like 90% of their own coins. So the whole voting thing is kind of fake anyway. And you don't really want like every pleb on the street to be voting in protocol updates. You know, so just kind of a, a random useless utility that nobody really cares about because, you know, Uniswap Labs, the company behind it, is just going to do whatever they want to do anyway because they own all the tokens. It's not really, it's kind of like pseudo decentralized. PulseX doesn't have anything to do with voting. All right, the PLSX token, if you buy this token, it's essentially like owning a piece of the casino. You are investing in a portion of the exchange. And why is that? I'm going to break it down for you guys. Every time somebody swaps one coin for another, for example, let's say you swap a hundred, a thousand hex for however much Pulse X, okay? Every single transaction has a tiny little transaction fee. On Pulse X, the transaction fee is 0.29%. Look right here, the trading fee of a thousand hex, it's going to cost you 8.67 hex. 
That's like nothing, okay? It's a couple of pennies, really. It's very not even noticeable. But there is a fee, and where does this fee go? Right, on Uniswap, the fee doesn't actually do anything useful. In fact, they slapped an additional fee on Uniswap on top of the DEX fee that goes directly to the Uniswap Labs company, a centralized company, so why should they get all the profits? PulseX democratizes the profits, democratizes the revenue from trading, from all the trading fees. So let's break it down in this pie chart right here, okay? Trading on PLSX, like we already said, costs 0.29% fees in whatever coin you're paying with. So if I'm paying with HEX, I'm paying 0.29% HEX in fees, right? I'm paying 86 HEX in fees. So no big deal, right? But what happens to these fees? Okay, what happens to these fees? 0.22% goes to the liquidity providers, and 0.06% goes to buying and burning PulseX. Now in some cases, in some cases when you're trading on certain pairs, when you're trading on any of these pairs over here, these pairs are actually incurring even more buy and burn pressure. So if you're trading any of these liquidity pairs, if you're trading any of these coins, like for example, DAI for Pulse or Pulse for DAI, INC for Pulse or Pulse for INC, the number, the percentage that goes to the buy and burn actually goes up. It actually becomes 0.28% because there's nothing going to the liquidity providers for those pairs. Okay, there's nothing going to the liquidity providers, so even more goes to buying and burning Pulse X. Now, what does buy and burn mean? Let's break it down, okay? It's exactly what it sounds like. Remember that tiny little hex fee that I was going to pay, that eight hex that I was going to pay in the transaction fee? Well, that goes to literally automatically with a bot, right? With code, smart contract. There's no person doing this, okay? No, no middleman, no human being. That eight hex gets sold for Pulse X. Okay, so the price of Pulse X goes up. And then that Pulse X that is purchased gets burned. Okay, burned means it goes away. It can never be touched again. It gets sent to a dead address. It can never be touched. So you're buying the price up, meaning price goes up, and you're burning it, meaning the supply goes down. Price goes up, supply goes down. All right, buy and burn. It's very simple, but it's also the best possible thing that you can do for the price of a coin. Now, Pulse X is deflationary, meaning there will only ever be less Pulse X tomorrow than there is today because it's getting burned little by little every single day. And the cool thing, guys, the cool thing is that you can go to gopulse.com. You can see how much Pulse X is already burned. So if we exclude the origin address, okay, you can see that today, look right here where this mouse is, 905 billion Pulse X has already been burned. That's about 4.4% of the circulating supply already burned out of existence. It's never coming back. So Pulse X is getting more and more scarce every single day. That's why I like it. I like the narrative. I like the utility. Of course, I love the founder. The founder influenced me in a big way early on. But the community also, on top of that, the community pushing the narrative is an even more important reason to get bullish about the coin. But when we're talking about what it does... Here's why I like it. Here's why I'm continuing to buy it. It's because of the dynamics. And surprisingly, for whatever reason, no other exchange has done this. No other DEX has had a token quite like this up until PulseX. Now, of course, a bunch of people are copying it. A bunch of coins are copying it. But PulseX was the first to really do a buy and burn baked into the decentralized exchange. Now, 0.01% goes to a no expectations address, but that's negligible. So look, that's why I like PulseX. I like the utility. Obviously, the founder is great. The community is great. Let's talk about what you can do when you buy Pulse X. So I've been accumulating it for this past whole year, really, just buying little bits at a time whenever I can. It's very, very cheap right now. Okay, the price is $0.00002. So it's two one-hundredths of a penny. It's 80% off from effectively the sacrifice rate where the early investors got in at. So if you want to get in now, you know, it's cheaper than it used to be. But there's a couple of protocols you can check out and make sure you read about these protocols, read the documentation, because I don't have time to go over these protocols in detail. One protocol is the Earn protocol. This is earn.powercity.com.io. Earn.powercity.io. All right. This is a lending protocol where you can take out a loan, decentralized, no, no person behind this, right? You can take out a loan on your Pulse X and get a stable coin that's backed by your Pulse X. Okay. So you can see right now, people are typically, the total collateral ratio is 700%, meaning typically when people put up $7,000 worth of Pulse X, they're taking out a $1,000 loan. So they're very over collateralized. I'd recommend going higher than this. You always want to be higher than the average collateral ratio. So let's say you go to a 10 to one ratio. That'd be a thousand percent ratio. If you've got $10,000 of Pulse X, you can take out a $1,000 PLSX loan and do whatever you want with that. So again, you've got that $1,000 of stable coins, right? You could lock it in the stability pool. You could earn 17% APR in the form of earned token. 
You can even restake the earn token to earn yield and all kinds of other complicated stuff. Go in the Telegram chat if you want to learn more about this or just read the website for the earn protocol, Power City's earn protocol. But you know, $1,000 making 17%, that's $170 a year. And if you've got a lot more money, you can make a lot more yield. And there's other cool things you can do with this as well. So for example, if you take those stable coins and you lock them in a, a yield farm, you know, pair it with PulseX or pair it with PXDC, you can earn even more or you could stake the earn token and earn a portion of the platform fees. So you could just stake the earn that you earn from the stability pool. One interesting option here, but you do have to manage it and you do have to be over collateralized. Join their telegram to learn more. Read their website to learn more, okay? This is not gonna be a video about earn protocol only. Another option you have to earn yield on your Pulse X is you can go over to phux.com, phux.io, and you can go filter by all the Pulse X tokens, right? You can filter for Pulse X over here like I've already done. And now we're looking at all of the yield farms over here that include Pulse X. So, you know, this is a balancer fork. Basically, it's a DEX with multiple coins that allows you to put more than two coins in a liquidity pool. It also allows you to weight them differently. So like 80, 20, 90, 10. And look over here, guys. You can hold, if you hold all five of these coins in the right ratios, 25% Pulse X, you can lock those in here and earn up to 11% APY. You can also go over here. This is probably the most popular Pulse X yield farm over on PHUX because it's similar to single-sided staking. It's not quite, right? But if you put up 90% of your Pulse X, 5% Prime Fox, and 5% stable coins, you can earn 7% APY over here on PHUX. Now, if you want to amplify that and earn over double of that 7, so you can earn like 14, 15, maybe 20% APY if you put some Pulse X in this liquidity pool and then you take it over to 2 Fox, 2, the number 2, PHUX.io. This is an additional uh, yield farming amplifier. Okay, that you can do to take your PHUX liquidity positions, move them over to 2PHUX, to 2Fux.io, and you can earn even more yield, over double, up to 2.5x, whatever it says on this website here. All right, next we've got 9inch. So if you go to app.9inch.io, this is another DEX on the Pulse Chain Network. This is kind of like the meme coin DEX. Okay, you've got a lot of dick jokes going on, BBC, 9inch, PP. Uh, but you've also got PulseX single-sided staking. So this is relatively low risk, other than the protocol risk, okay? All these platforms, by the way, they do have platform risk inherently in them. So these could all go down. They are audited. They are safe. They are forked off of existing code that's been proven to work in the real world. It's got a good track record. And this has been running fine for, you know, about a year now, a little less than a year. But nothing is without risk, right? But the thing about the single-sided staking on PulseX is you don't have the impermanent loss risk from yield farming, right? So if you go over here, right, fox.io, you're always going to have some impermanent loss risk. And if you don't understand what that is, I talk about it a lot. Okay, well, go watch my previous videos about yield farming. But here you can earn up to 4% APY, and the longer you lock the coins for, the more APY you're going to get. I believe also if you have some of their 9-inch token locked, that also amplifies your APR, but I don't have any of that. Okay, I've just been using this. I think I set like a 32-week lock period. And for my 32-week lock period, I'm earning maybe like 3% APY on my Pulse X that I put in there. Again, I didn't bet the whole stack on any one of these protocols. So I'm not just taking all my Pulse X and sticking it in here. But I've been making 3% APY for very little risk so far in the form of BBC token. And so if you're going to hold the coins anyway for the long term, like I'm holding Pulse X for the long term, you know, this is a very safe, pretty low, but very safe, sustainable APR that's paid in the form of BBC token. And again, all this stuff, use at your own risk, right? But the fact is over here that you're not pairing this with another coin, so it's single-sided staking. If you don't lock it up, you're going to earn very little, almost nothing, right? But if you lock it up for many, many weeks, you can earn up to 4% APR. Again, maybe more. I'm not sure about how the 9-inch locking works to boost that. But finally, guys, finally, we're going to talk about the Pulse X yield farms. These are the premier yield farms. These are probably the best, okay? I've got a lot of my Pulse X locked in these and if you want to bond your Pulse X with your PLS in a liquidity position, for example, $50,000 worth of Pulse X, $50,000 worth of PLS, if you take those, put them in a liquidity position on the liquidity tab here, and then you lock that and stake it in a farm. Again, I've got so many videos about yield farming. Just go watch them if this doesn't make sense. I'm just telling you the places to earn money on your Pulse X, okay? So 50K Pulse X, 50K Pulse, you could earn 14% APR. That's $14,000 worth of INC token a year because all this APR is paid out in the form of INC token. What other Pulse X farms are there? Let's scroll down to the very bottom. This is the only other Pulse X farm 
if you lock it with IMC token. I've been talking a lot about this one lately because the ratio has been stagnant. It's been steady, right? So you can earn up to 34% APR right now. And this could go higher if the price of INC token goes higher. It could also go lower, okay? So it's going to be volatile. Don't act surprised if this goes down to 20% APR. But it could also go up to 50% APR or higher, right? I think it's more likely that INC token is going to go up in a bull market than down. But things don't happen in a straight line, okay? Prices are volatile. APR is going to be volatile. But again, let's say you got 50K of INC, 50K of Pulse. Lock them together. Currently, you're earning $34,000 a year. That's like a very low full-time salary for some people, okay? Some people only earn $34,000 a year. If you have 100K, you lock it in here, you're earning what some people make in a year in the form of INC token. And again, this is going to fluctuate. If the price of INC goes up, the APR goes up. Price of INC goes down, the APR goes down. All right, now this is not a tutorial about yield farming. Again, I just showed you four different places to earn yield. Earn protocol, PHUX. You can double your yield with two fucks. Okay, so fox.io and two fucks.io. Look them up, read into them. Good place to earn yield. Nine inch.io, single sides take your pulse X. And finally, the premier yield farms, the best ones in my opinion, this is where most of my pulse X is, is the pulse X yield farms. Now, half of my pulse X coins are just dormant, okay? Because all this stuff could fail, all this stuff, you've got impermanent loss risk on some of these things. So I've got about half my bag of Pulse X just sitting there dormant, not touching any of these yield bearing protocols. So again, don't bet the entire stack on any one yield protocol, one yield strategy. This is just a way to make more money on your Pulse X like I am right now. Still buying it, had a lot in the sacrifice phase, price went down massively. I'm treating Pulse X right now as a dip buying opportunity, a very long extended accumulation zone. So if you're new to crypto, if you're wondering what all the hype about Pulse X is all about, that's why I chose to buy it. That's why I'm choosing to accumulate it. And these are some of the places that I've been putting my Pulse X to work for me to make yield, to make money when I sleep. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment. It all really helps Pulse Chain and Pulse X go viral. Okay, it doesn't even take you that much time. Click a couple buttons and you can spread the message to a lot more people who can then buy this coin and pump all of our bags. So again... Like, subscribe, comment, share. See you on the next video.